A very warm welcome to the Barbecue Walk of Flame. Now to me, a self-appointed grill aficionado, steak and the barbecue were a marriage made in heaven. They were made for each other. A good steak needs very little preparation. A rub with some oil, seasoning with some salt and pepper, and the best way to cook it, in the open air, on the barbecue. So why am I putting coffee on my steak? Well, it's a trendy thing to enhance the flavour of meat with a spicy rub. I have to admit, I am a confirmed coffee addict. Anything with coffee, and I have to give it a try. And I must say, when it comes to making a flavoursome steak better, this one delivers. Just take a look at this. You may notice this steak is much darker in colour. That's because it's 30 day dry aged sirloin, which means it has spent at least 30 days in a controlled atmosphere, with blocks of Himalayan salt that draw the air across the beef, removing the moisture and developing an incredible depth of flavour and texture. Just look at this marbling. That's always a sign of a good steak. For the rub, to a small mixing bowl, add one tablespoon of finely ground dark roast coffee. I'm using an espresso blend, so it's ground very, very fine. One tablespoon of light brown sugar. One tablespoon of paprika. Two teaspoons of ground cumin. Two teaspoons of sea salt. And finally, one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Give it all a mix to combine, and that's all there is to it. So to my two lovely steaks, a drop of oil. Rub it in, making sure it's all well coated. Turn over and repeat. Sprinkle generously with the coffee rub. Rub and pat it in well. And do the same for the other side. It now needs to stand for at least a half an hour, or better still, an hour, at room temperature for the spices to infuse into the meat. Outside, my barbecue is set up for cooking with direct heat. I have both burners on full to get the grill nice and hot. On go the steaks. Just listen to that sizzle. I'm cooking my steak for about two minutes per side. The other one, well, the boss will not eat any meat that's slightly pink. I'm now flipping my steak and cooking the other side for two minutes. If you're enjoying this video so far, then sub the channel, click the button and the bell and I promise you won't be disappointed. Time to take my steak off the grill, turn the other one over and give it a few minutes more. I'm covering my steak with foil to rest whilst the other one cooks. And there is a mouth-watering coffee rub steak, served with a medley of mixed vegetables and pommes gratin d'affinois. A lovely accompaniment, and you can see how it's made in my next video. And that's my delicious coffee rub steak. Now, in my next video, I'll show you how to make Pons Gratin Dauphinois. 
So sub the channel, go on, click the button and the bell. What are you waiting for? Well, that's all for now. So from me, the dude with the food, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.